Hello everyone. Um, today I want to show you how to do some really quick, um, easy but lovely and colourful backgrounds um, using your acrylic stamp pads and a brayer and just cheap craft paint. I did this about 12 months ago using the acrylic stamp block um, and I did it with the Distress inks um, and I'll leave a link to the um, video in the description box below. The only piece of paper that I've got left from that video that um, I did is this piece here because the rest has either been used or it's been sent out in happy mail but just so easy but really really effective. So I've got various sizes of acrylic stamp blocks here. Um, I'm going to be using both sides because they've got a smooth side and the gridded side which is textured. Um, so I'm going to be using both sides here and I'm going to be using um, maybe a couple of different sizes. So I'm going to start off using the smooth side of this acrylic stamp block. And I've got my brayer here. You can use a makeup sponge if you don't have a brayer. That will work in exactly the same way. And I'm just going to put some, whoops Daisy, some paint down on my acrylic block. Trying not to make a mess as I go, but you know, it really, really doesn't matter. We're just going to have some fun here. And the idea is that you just stamp the whole of your page. So you put your paint down and you just keep stamping until you've used up all of that paint. Um, then I've got a piece of spare cardstock here and I'm just going to rub off, I'm just doing this, rub off any of the um, extra paint. I'm going to do the same with my brayer as well. So I'm just going to brayer off because I'm going to get another background by, by doing this um, as well. And then I'm going to add a different colour. So this time I'm going to use the other side, which is the gridded side. Let me just move that piece of paper out of the way. So I've got some pink this time. The three colours that I'm using are this purple here. Um, does it say what kind of colour purple it is? Mauve. Um, these are Crafters Choice Royal and Langnickel. I think these came from the works here in the UK. They're about 90p per thing, 99p. And then I've got a lime green. So those are the colours that I'm using. So this time I'm going to add the pink to my um, acrylic block, trying to be more careful this time that um, I don't make a mess before I've even um, started. So there we go. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to randomly stamp, overlapping some of the areas that um, I've already put paint down on. Um, and I'm just going to keep going until I've got all of that paint off onto my page. Then I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. I am just going to rub the excess off so that um, I'm creating another page here as I go along. And you can see that already that just looks beautiful in its own, own right. Um, again, I'm going to brayer off and just look how this is coming to life with very, very little effort. Okay, then we're going to add some lime, lime green, and I'm going to use the same size um, stamp pad again. I'm going to use the smooth side this time. It really doesn't matter. Be really random about this. Don't overthink it. Um, but it's just more effective if you fill the whole of your, your page with your, your stamped images. Right, okay, and we're going to do exactly the same thing. This time I'm going to start in the middle. And I know that um, I'm using colours that would ordinarily turn to mud, but because I'm just using such a thin layer of it, um, so the paint is, is nearly dry by the time it goes down on this paper, I can get uh, away with it. And so again, I'm just going to rub off that excess paint. You can see that that's gone a bit muddy, but that's more of an olive green, and I personally don't mind that. And then we can brayer off the rest of that lime green onto the onto the page like so. Then I'm going to come in with a, a smaller stamp pad. I'm going to use this one here because this one um, I've rubbed all of the grid away so we'll, we'll do this one here. So I'm going to use the gridded side. I'm going to start off with the purple this time in the smaller size. There we go. And I'm just going to repeat the whole of that exercise, just going over, there we go, like this. 
and then on my right hand side I'm just rubbing that um that bread image off sorry about that that's Alex phoning the kids have gone back now Sam's gone back to school today Alex went back up to Leeds on on Saturday so I'm thinking I've got free time to create and <laughs> they still won't leave me alone oh dear 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 right okay so I've continued um stamping off that purple um I've brayed off the excess onto a separate sheet so this is what I've got going on so far so I've started a, a, another one off as you can see um this time I'm going to add some of the pink to my smaller stamp block um, and it's just a case of this is so easy guys it's just a case of overlapping um, your colours going in whoops a daisy in various directions whoops I've smudged that one but you know hey ho it really really doesn't matter I can come over and do that again let's try and um, let's try and fix that it doesn't matter it really really doesn't matter if you make a big splodge like I have no harm no harm done right and then i'm going to this time i shall rub that off there there we go so we've just got lovely background pages um going on here um already let's um rub off the rest of the um excess oh that one's got stuck a bit and then i'm going to add some lime green this time i shall use the smooth side and the only important thing is to make sure that you clean off your your brayer in between colors because otherwise you will um, end up with with mud but can you see the dendritic pattern that you sort of end up with already before i've even started um, stamping so let's add that there and try and cover up that splodge that i made earlier and let's come over with a bit more of the lime green paint but this is just so easy and I just love the randomness of this and the fact that you really never know what you're going to um, end up with let's um, add another one over over here and as I say because you're using such thin layers of paint that really do quickly dry in between um, you're not ending up with 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 any mud let's add another one down here and we could do with some in this corner over over here as well maybe stamp some off there so right let's move that out of the way because of course the paint layers on that are getting thicker i'm going to be careful where i add this this time um, just rubbing off my colors isn't that gorgeous i just love 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 that right okay let's bring my page back and so this time i'm going to come in with my smaller um square um, stamp block which side shall I use I'm going to add the green again whilst I've still got some green on my on my brayer um, let's just add that like that and just keep stamping over but the runnier the paint I found with this, um, the, the better. The heavy body paints do do work, um, but they don't spread um, as easily on um, your page as you do with your, your cheap craft craft paints. So in my experience, those do work better. So right, I'm going to get rid of this onto this piece of um, drop paper here, and then I'm going to dry that before I come in with some of the the, the pink and purple again. So right so let's add some more of the pink and the purple let's add the purple first i'm going to use the gridded side i couldn't make up my mind there which side to to use overlapping again until you've used up all of your your paint let's add a bit more maybe a thicker layer this time here we are Don't think about it, just plonk it um, down. Do you like that word, plonk? <laughs> oh dear. Plonk it down, really random. There we go. And then I'm going to um, get rid of the excess there. Let's just rub it off like so. And let's add some more of the pink, shall we? Here we go. So we'll just add some pink on this small little acrylic block. Again, trying not to overthink where I'm putting it. Let's add some, some more. 
And I like the fact that I've got white space um, in this too, so I'm not um, aiming to cover all of all of that up. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then finally, I just want to come in with um, some more of the green. So I'm just going to get rid of that um, pink just to clean off my, my brayer and sort of add to that lovely background layer that I've got going on on here as well. And then finally, we'll add some um, more green to this. I'm going on the smooth side again. I just, I just love how this looks and it's so much fun, just really, really random. Not thinking about what we're, what we're doing, nothing difficult here at all. And I just love those three colours to, together as well. Let's add a little bit more on the outside. There we go. And I think I am happy um, with that one. So I'm going to do exactly the same just until I've got rid of um, the rest of this paint that um, I've got going on on my left hand side. So let me just give you a flick through of what I have just created. That's the background that we created using the various style stamps. Um, this is done on thick cardstock, by the way. I would imagine this is 250 um, grams, but let me just hold it up close just so that you can see some of the lovely detail. Um, so that's that. Um, that's the page that um, I used all the leftover paint on as well. So, you know, not as vibrant because I didn't have as much paint, um, very much paint left. So that's that one there. And then these are the braid um, pages as well. So, you know, some lovely backgrounds in their own right, just from braying off the, 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 the leftover, uh, leftover paint. I just absolutely love these. And this was the one where I just rubbed the stamp pad round like like that so that's created some some lovely color and texture too and then these are some others that um, that I did I did these before I went away on holiday I meant to film this video gosh uh, well over a month ago and just ran out of time um, to do it but I just absolutely love these and I've used all kinds of different types of paints um, for this uh, as well um, these I think were heavy bodied whereas you saw here that this was just um, cheap cheap craft paint so but you know multitude of different different colors in that one there this one here with just greens and um, blues I think this one was I've got even got some metallic paint um, on, on this one here now this one I used not only um, the, the stamp like like that but I also use the edge of the of the stamp too um, and can you see the lovely texture and pattern that um, that I've got going on there it's sort of like a plaid design I just absolutely love that now this was done with cheap kids um, ready mixed craft paint from Hobbycraft so you know you can use any type of paint it really really doesn't matter um, this again I think was done with the ki uh, cheap kids um, craft paint from Hobbycraft just in pink and turquoise um, just love this one. This one's done on a much thinner piece of, um, of cardstock, and you can see that I've got more curling going on here than on the on the thicker cardstock. But you know, you can do it on paper, thin cardstock, thick cardstock, mixed media paper, whatever you like. Um, and I'll just quickly flick through all the different colours and designs that um, that I've done. That one there's got some metallic um, going on too. And then finally, this one. Um, and then these are the mop-up pages from um, the last lot of pages that um, that I've just shown you. So this is just, you know, where I've brayed, brayed off. So I just think, you know, that's a really fun and quick way of creating some... Um, lovely backgrounds. Um, I'm going to play with them um, with this again and I might do another video later on in the week where we sort of maybe take some of these backgrounds and we sort of you know do something further with them um, but I hope you like that I certainly hope that you'll give it a try and um, if you like it I'd really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up because as I always say it just lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing and let me know what you think in the comments below so take care everyone I'll see you all again soon bye for now